about saving lives. If we didn't foster, then she may not live. Are you being? I have no idea. Well, we're getting ready for transport. These dogs have been pulled from a shelter. We're taking them from the public. They've been fostering for two weeks. They've been fully vetted. They're here tonight to get their final touches, whether it's dewormer, maybe another heartworm prevention or flea prevention that they need. They're going to be walked, loaded up, and head to New York, to our sister group in New York. When you get back over here, mark it off the list. It's the best face ever. We love dogs, and it's a lot of fun, and... And it, you know, and it provides a service to people in New York, I mean, they don't have dogs to adopt. They're like none there. So, you know, we send them up for them. You know, we take care of her and she fits we right in. We already, we already have three dogs, so she just fits right in. And all of them are rescues. And, you know, one's a foster failure. <laughs> it ended up staying with us. But, you know, she fits right in with all the other dogs. <laughs> It's just extremely difficult because of the pet overpopulation here in the field to get adopters, available adopters, and they wait for our uh, dogs in New York. You know, they know when they're coming and they're already full screened adopters and most of them have homes by the time they get there.